The Gwinnett County Commissioner, who admitted to accepting bribes for a land deal, may have been shopping her vote on a plan to add commercial flights at Briscoe Field. Channel 2's Carrie Cavanaugh is live in Gwinnett County. New since 5, she heard from residents who say this only adds to the controversy surrounding the airport. Carrie. John, those residents have fiercely debated expanding Briscoe Airport for years. The U.S. attorney says Shirley Lassiter considered her vote the deciding vote on this matter, and she also considered putting that vote up for sale. She was certainly um, having discussions about how she might be able to use her vote and get some money for it. Um, U.S. Attorney Sally Yates believes that never materialized for former Commissioner Shirley Lassiter, but on Thursday, Lassiter resigned after admitting in federal court she did accept $36,000 in bribes to sway a land deal. Prosecutors say she was involved in a scheme with her son John Fanning and businessman Carl Kane to open a pawn shop and use it to launder drug money. The discovery Lassiter considered shopping her airport vote has fueled an already heated debate. One has to figure, is there money involved? Homeowner Larry Yates is among a growing pack opposed to expanding Briscoe Field. Plans have been on the table for two and a half years to add commercial flights and longer runways. It really will ruin our quality of life and our property value has already been suffering. It's landlocked by neighborhoods, churches, schools, etc. Residents against expansion believe they have a strong argument based on facts and many have wondered why, after all this time, the debate was still alive. The kind of crazy thing for me is that what's so obvious and backed up by facts has been so controversial. We spoke to Chairman Charlotte Nash earlier today. She says the commissioners will have to consider all the facts before they vote on this airport expansion, and that includes what they have learned about Shirley Lassiter. The commissioners could vote on this as early as Tuesday. Live in Gwinnett County, Carrie Cavanaugh, Channel 2 Action News.